One of the features in Albion Online that left me puzzled when I first started playing was the Destiny board. In this video, we're going to be breaking down the different parts of the Destiny board. I'm going to walk through it with you and kind of show you where to get started, what different pieces you might want to use if you're a crafter, if you're doing a lot more PvE content, if you are a gatherer, if you like farming. I'm going to show you the different parts on the Destiny board in a simple manner just to help you get started with your journey in Albion Online. Now, the first thing you want to do is open up your Destiny board and you're going to see this little gold ribbon in the middle. First thing that we're going to look at is going straight north into the adventure. So as you level up in the game doing anything that gives you fame and fame is equivalent to XP in this game, it'll level up your adventures tab. Now leveling up your adventure unlocks better mounts, bags, better capes and better demolition hammers. I wouldn't worry about the demolition hammers for now, but the capes are and mounts as well as bags are the most important aspects of this. And the adventures levels up pretty quick as you keep playing. As you get higher and higher, you unlock better tier capes that you can use, better bags, and better mounts. All the way until we get to the top, Elder Adventure. We're going to go back to the middle with the gold coin, and we're going to follow this line to the left. Now, the first thing we're going to cover is this first middle line right here. All of these have to do with different types of combat and armor. So if you follow this line to the left and keep going straight, this is your Reaver line. And Reaver, what it does is as you level it up, it increases your damage versus a certain tier of mobs and creatures in the world, as well as your defense. For this one, Expert Reaver, Expedition Standard of Tier 5 is unlocked. You can do your daily expedition of tier 5 now. And your damage versus creatures of tier 5 or higher is increased by 45% as well as a 31% defense. It's kind of a rule of thumb that if you go into the next tier area, whether it's tier 5, 6, 7, and 8, you want to have this reaver tier unlocked. If you don't have it unlocked, the mobs are going to be a lot more difficult to kill than they should be as opposed to having this reaver unlocked. And you get all the way to elder reaver, which increases your damage to tier 8 creatures by 100% and your defense by 50% versus them. And they also unlock these cool little avatars that you can do for your uh, avatar for your person. Now, going back to the middle coin, we're going to go left again. And we're going to see trainee fighter. First thing we're going to show you is you're probably going to see a lot of these lines if you're new to the game, just because you haven't unlocked everything yet. I have one right here. If not, you're going to have a lot of gold lines like you're starting to see right here. But we'll, what we'll do is we'll follow this line up. And you're going to come to the journeyman mage. Now, the journeyman mage, once you unlock it, unlocks all of the journeyman staffs, the different types of magical staffs, as well as the offhand, the tomb spells. What you're gonna wanna do to get this tab unlocked is you're gonna wanna kill creatures with a tier two plus novice fire staff equipped. It tells you right here the requirements for the next level. So if we go to our trainee fighter, we see that we have a novice fire staff here. Now, the difference that you need to make sure that you pay attention to is beginner and novice. Don't use a beginner staff. Beginner staff will not give you fame towards journeyman. You need to use a novice. All of these novice items you'll have to use at one point to get all of the different areas unlocked. But for now, let's just use this example. We'll use a novice fire staff. Once you use the novice fire staff to go out and kill enemies in the world, you know, defeat any enemies to gain fame. You're going to need 5,000 fame to unlock Journeyman Mage. Now, you could use these learning books that you have right here, the learning points. If you get 20% of the way to this 5,000, then you can use the books to complete it. So once the bar hits right here, you can learn it and instantly get it done. Once Journeyman Mage is unlocked, this is where you get to pick what kind of staff that you want to use. We could use Curse Staff, Fire Staff, Frost Staff, Holy. It doesn't matter whichever one you want to use. Now, once you use whatever staff that you want, and in this example, we're going to keep using the Fire Staff. So let's say we just got done using the Novice Fire Staff, and now we're switching to the Journeyman's Fire Staff. Once we use this, we're going to follow this line up because these lines going up now break off into the different staffs that we just looked at so we have the arcane we have frost mage we have warlock and then we also have our tombs which is our off hands in this example we're going to do the fire staff we go up this left line that isn't highlighted for me and we have the pyromancer tab now what happens is, is you're going to use the journeyman fire staff and once you get this bar full, or again, you can use your learning points, once you get to 20% of the way, you'll unlock level one rewards. And at the level one rewards, you unlock all of the different types of fire staffs. There's two-handed, there's one-handed. 
See how it says main hand in slot, and then it says slot two-handed. Shows you the item power, the quality, and it shows you all of the abilities. Now, let's say that we just got our journeyman done, journeyman mage. We did our fire staff, right? We leveled it up. We got all the way up to this tab, and we unlocked Pyromancer at one. Now that we're at Pyromancer 1, we decide to use the Adept Fire Staff. Again, this is going to go off. And it's going to break to the different types of Fire Staffs that you can work on. For us, we chose the Adept Fire Staff. So we chose the regular Fire Staff. This one's going to branch off to the left. And it's then going to go up here. And this one will level up as well. Now that is the Mage part of the tree, the journeyman mage. And this process that I just showed you that we use the fire staff as an example, this will apply to every branch on the tree. Every level up that you want to do, every staff that you want to look at. If we went through every staff and every weapon on here, this video would take forever. The fire staff example can apply to every single tab that's on here. So this is the mage part of the tree. Now, if we go back to the middle, and we go left to trainee fighter again. Now we're going to follow this yellow line that I have. Going up, we're going to find the journeyman cloth fighter armor. Again, you're going to need to use the novice scholar's cowl, novice scholar robe, and novice scholar sandals first. Any of them to get journeyman cloth armor fighter unlocked. So the only way to level up the armor pieces is just to wear them and go out and kill mobs. You'll unlock journeyman three. You'll apply all these Journeyman 3 Scholar robes. And when you have all three of them on, you're going to go and want to go out and kill things. And that then will unlock each one of your Cloth Cow Fighter, Cloth Robe Fighter, and your Cloth Sandal Fighter. Inside these tabs, there is, as you can see, there's about eight different pieces of armor for each one. You can pick whichever one that you want to use. It's... The same concept as when we were looking at the fire staff, except for these. For me, I picked the Adept Mage Cowl, but each armor piece is broken down up here, depending on which one you pick. And this applies all across the board for every cloth piece. Now it gets kind of tricky when it comes to picking your armor set. There's so many different combinations that you can do in Albion Online. You could have a cloth helmet, you could have a plated chest, and you can have leather boots. It doesn't matter your combination. If you're a mage, you don't have to use all cloth armor. If you're a swordsman, you don't have to use all plated armor. It doesn't matter. That's the beauty of this game. You could switch it up in any way you want. Now, if we go to trainee fighter and we follow this line up again, we have journeyman hunter. Now we're going to want to use the bow on the trainee fighter to level up journeyman hunter. And, and you're kind of, I'm sure you're seeing a pattern now that you're going to have to use any of these novice items to level up to get to a certain piece that is like journeyman leather fighter you're going to need novice mercenary jacket and the novice mercenary hood and novice mercenary shoes and you get here and you put on the tier 3 version of it and then it branches off again the journeyman hunter it does the same thing it'll break off between the bow the quarter staff the daggers the nature staff the spear and the offhand torches you do the offhand and this is the level one rewards and it breaks down into different types of offhands that have different buffs that can be applied to your build. Like the mist caller has cooldown modifiers, which reduces the cooldowns of your abilities on your weapons. This one has physical ability bonuses and defense versus players. It actually subtracts. So you have to pay attention to that. And this one has uh, crowd control resistance. These are the offhands that you would use if you're using a one-handed weapon. So always pay attention that if you're picking a weapon, for example, like the fire staff that we use, that was a one-handed weapon. We would want to put something in our offhand. We can get some extra perks by using an offhand. So that is the hunting tree. I've been working on the nature staff, so I have it at 92. And then I have the spear fighter at 100. And then it branches off again to the different types of spears as well as the bow branches off to the different types of bows. And this is when it kind of gets fun because you can pick whatever build you want, whatever weapon you want. And then within that, there's different weapons that you can use as well. They're all the same except for the E. Everything's the same except for the E. That's the only thing that you really have to look at is the E and whichever weapon you're wanting to use. 
and as well as if it's a one-handed weapon or a two-handed weapon that's something to pay attention to you always look at the slot if it says two-handed and then this one says main hand if it says main hand that means you have the option to put an offhand on we go back down to the gold coin we're gonna rock our way down to leather journeyman leather armor fighter you could pick whichever leather armor that you want all you really have to remember is you need to use the novice version first to level up the journeyman and then you use the journeyman pieces to level up to the adept and once you get to the adept that's when you get to get fancy and pick whichever armor pieces you want for your build so we go to the gold coin again we're going to follow this line to trainee fighter and then we're going to follow this second line down and now we have journeyman warrior same concept novice to journeyman and we have the different types of weapons so we have the battle axe we have the mace the hammer the brawler gloves the crossbow and the broadsword as well as the offhand shields the shields are on the top you have sh different shields to pick from following these lines out will branch off to the different weapons that you could use so we have crossbow fighter we have all the war gloves the different types of gloves that you would potentially use we have the hammer the mace you'll see all the different types of maces and you kind of see what I'm getting at here. It all branches off again and it all keeps leveling up together as one. Sword Fighter will level up as well as whatever swords you are using. The last one on the Trainee Fighter is going down to the south. And this is where we have the Journeyman Plate Armor. Novice to Journeyman breaks down to the Plate Helmets and the Plated Boots. The Plated Boots are the ones I use and I use the Soldier Boots. This is the ones I've been using. But same concept as the cloth armors and the leather armors, it breaks down just like that. If you go back to the middle, the gold coin, we have two branches that go down to the south. First one on the left is going to be trainee farmer. And this is the kind of stuff that you're going to be doing on your personal island. So we have sous chef, which is for potions and food. And this one breaks off into two different branches as well. Alchemist, which is for all your potion making. And you can look right here to see the different foods and the different recipes. I haven't done any of the potion making or food stuff. As you can see, mine's still dark. And we have the trainee farmer, which breaks down into harvester, which is all of the journeyman type of stuff that you can plant or craft. What I do for mine is, again, it branches off and it breaks down into herbalist, crop farmer, and animal breeder. Herb and crop farmer are essentially the same thing. You just plant and you harvest. And then animal breeder, you actually have to take care of the animals. You have to feed them. Some of them you can slaughter. There's a bunch of different things you can do with that one. I'm just going to go over the crop farmer just because that's the one that I work on for my personal island. And this is, again, this is all the stuff that you can do on your personal island. So to have a personal island, you're going to have to purchase 30 days of premium. And then once you have your personal island, you don't need premium anymore after that. It's a one-time purchase. Once you have it, you're good to go. You're going to follow this crop farmer down and it's going to show the different types of crop that you can plant. And as you level up your crop farmer and the different plants that you're doing right now, I'm doing potatoes. It'll actually take less focus to water your plants, which increases watering them, increases the yield of what they bring back to you. We go back to the gold coin and we go down this blue line. Now we have trainee gather. You're going to want to use any of the novice tools to start leveling that up. We're going to use the novice skinning knife for an example because this is the one that i've leveled up you're going to grab one of those knives and you're going to go out and you're going to start skinning animals once you have it leveled up you can start gathering rugged hide or better with a tier 3 skinning knife and what you need to do is you need to gather rugged hide or better to start leveling up your adept animal skinner any xp will level up the next tier so you'll just skin everything adept will get unlocked and then you just keep going it's essentially you just craft you just not craft you gather is you just gather and pay attention to when your next one's unlocked you can use better equipment you can use armor pieces that'll increase your gathering yield and it'll increase all the way down all the way until you get to elder which you can get better pieces of gear that increase yield even more we go back to this gold coin and we go to the right now on the right side we have the craftsman part of the tree this is for, you know, crafting. You're going to craft all the different armor pieces. Right here, it shows the different novice pieces that you're going to want to craft. So we have like soldier helmets, uh, soldier armor, soldier boots. And then we have cloth as well as leather, which is like the mercenary stuff. We have novice bags, 
And depending on which ones you start crafting will depend on which tree that you unlock first. So all of these are going to be the same. So we have Journeyman's Mage Tower Crafter. We have Journeyman Hunter's Lodge Crafter. And Journeyman Warrior's Crafter. And I haven't worked on any of these as you can see. And we also have the Toolmaker on the bottom. And we have the Journeyman Refiner. First one we'll go over. We're going to go over these three. And I'm just going to pick one. Because if I go over all of them, it's just going to be like beating a dead horse over and over again. We're going to go north. And we're going to go to the Journeyman's Warrior Crafter. So we need to craft Novice Warrior's Gear to get this tab unlocked. So we can craft the armor pieces. We can craft a broadsword. Uh, we could probably craft a Novice Shield. And this, it'll, this will work towards the warrior gear. And kind of a, you see, you can see them right here as well. Once you have it unlocked, you can craft all of this journeyman stuff. Now we're going to take the broadsword, for example. If you want to craft journeyman broadswords. If you make broadswords, and we're going to find it up here. Your broadsword line will open up to the sword crafter. Once the sword crafter is unlocked at level 1, you can craft any type of sword that you want. If I craft adept broadswords it'll branch off again to the sword crafting specialist because I'm still crafting those broadswords and these will both level up and as they level up you can see here that there is efficiency while crafting like focus cost efficiency bonus to focus cost efficiency while crafting all swords and increases in quality while crafting swords that's how you break down the different types of crafting for the swords and the journeyman warriors the journeyman hunter's lodge and the journeyman mage tower is all both going to be the same same concept as i just gave the example with the sword all you need to know that this one right here is the journeyman hunter's lodge and they all branch off as well and then you have this one down here which is the journeyman's mage tower that branches off as well now going straight down following this line we're going to go to the toolmaker now for the tool maker, we need to build any type of tools. So right here, we're gonna have to do, first we're gonna have to start off with the novice demolition hammer. And once we have the novice demolition hammer built and we build it, you know, however many times that we have to build it and we get this filled, then we can create any of these types of tools. This is gonna branch off again to any type of tool that you're making, cape or bag. So let's take bags, for example. Let's say you wanna craft journeyman bags. We already have this unlocked. You start crafting journeyman bags until you have bag tailor unlocked. Now you're level one. You can build adept bags and you can build adept satchels of insight. And as you keep crafting those, they will branch off to whichever one that you craft. So if we craft adept bags, we have this at level one. We can craft adept bags now. As we craft adept bags, this will level up and our adept bags down here will level up and this will work for every weapon that you not every weapon this will work for every tool that you do following this tree down and last but not least if we go back to the middle coin follow this line down journeyman refiner and this is where you refine all of the things that you are collecting out in the open world through your gathering tab or if you're buying them and just refining them let's pick stone for example sandstone block if we make sandstone block, we will unlock the adept stone cutter. And then once you have that, you can start crafting the tier four block. As you craft more tier four block, it'll go down and you can start doing tier five block and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. It's the same way for each refinery. As you refine more, it'll level up more and it'll start increasing the next one. That is everything that we need to cover for the destiny board. I hope this video helped you to kind of understand how everything works on there. When you open the Destiny board now, I hope it's not as confusing as it was before when you first started playing. The Destiny board is really easy to read. Just the first time you come in, the way it's set up, it's not very user friendly and it just looks weird how it's spread out everywhere. Again, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did like the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment and I will see you guys in the next video.